Tonight, more extraordinary details about claims China is plotting to interfere in Australia's political system. On Friday, I watched astonishing scenes of federal agents under the direction of ASIO raid the home of New South Wales Labor MP Shiket Mosselman. This is the first time in this country's recent history a politician has been so actively investigated about whether he's been influenced by a hostile foreign state. Now, make no mistake about the seriousness of this operation. The agents know what they're looking for. And if they find it on phones or laptops, the consequences will be far-reaching, both here and in Beijing. I have had a relationship with our Chinese community for the last 35 years. It's not a crime to like China. Our relationship goes deep. But when you're an Australian politician, and you're so overwhelmingly loyal to Beijing's communist regime. Congratulations the Australian Chinese community for standing united together. It's inevitable questions will be asked, including by ASIO. Historically, China has longed for greatness. The greatness cannot be achieved if the rules of the game continues to favour its opponents. So the rules have to change. Shaket Mosselmane is a little-known Labor MP who entered the New South Wales Upper House in 2009. He's paid to represent the people of New South Wales, but for years he spent much of his time defending the Chinese government. The only way for China to reach its potential is for China to force a change to the rules and create a new world order. With pro-China views like that, Mr Mosselmane was bound to attract great scrutiny but he never expected the AFP to come knocking. At 6am Friday morning, a dozen officers raided his suburban Sydney home. They searched his house and then his cars because ASIO fear his political office may have been infiltrated by a foreign power, China. Uh, Mr Mosselman, can a comment about the raid today? No comment. Can no you just tell us, has your office been targeted by the Chinese government? So where's your car? So you've been raided by the federal police today over allegations that Beijing has infiltrated your office. Is there any uh, truth to that yeah. allegation? Will the world be watching this ASIO investigation? Uh, this is an allegation of grave international significance. If the allegations are proven, this will resonate globally. The reaction to the raid was swift. Within hours, the ALP had moved to suspend him. He will no longer sit in the caucus. He will no longer uh, be uh, a Labor Party member. A clearly shocked state leader, Jody McKay, needed to limit the political damage. It's dreadfully concerning. It's, it's terrible. There is a, an expectation on MPs that whatever they do, it is in the best interests of the people of this state. The question about Shaket Mosselman is why he says what he says about China and more pointedly, if Beijing is telling him to say it. It's a question our domestic spy agency, ASIO, wants answered. We've confirmed that the office of Shiket Mosselman is at the centre of ASIO's most serious foreign interference probe since the Cold War. How unprecedented is it that ASIO is targeting the office of a serving, sitting Labor MP? Quite extraordinary. Would ASIO take this step lightly? No. Neil Fergus is a veteran intelligence expert. What would ASIO be looking for? What evidence trails would they be following to confirm, one way or another, if Shaked Mosselman's office has been the target of an infiltration plot? Uh, what they would be looking for is whether the person is taking instructions. So the communications between a person who is a suspect in this situation and people who would be providing instructions. That becomes key because it means they're not using their own independent thought processes or working within their own political structure. They are a tasked individual. It's not just the speeches Mosselman has given praising Beijing. In the last decade, he's visited China more than 10 times and some of his expenses there have been picked up by officials. It must be stressed though that no allegations have been proven. They are simply being investigated. It's also possible Mr Mosselman may only be an unwitting victim of a Chinese government influence operation. Can I just say that the Chinese government should be commended for the immediate action that it took? 
But it's incidents like this which have drawn attention. In late February this year, as the coronavirus was spreading around the world, Mr Mosselman was filmed at the Golden Century restaurant in Sydney. Coronavirus affects everybody. There, he praised the Chinese government's response to the deadly virus, despite evidence suggesting it initially covered up the contagion, allowing it to spread around the world. It has spread a little, but because it was contained so much in, in China, um, that meant that the rest of the world had not been affected uh, as it would have if those measures were not taken. So, uh, so congratulations to the government. We know who are our friends uh, in, in, in crisis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Alex Josky from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute has been doing his own investigations for years into Mosulmain and his Chinese connection. He says the parliamentarian's comments about the coronavirus join a long list of indefensible statements he's already made. Does Shaked Mosulmain deserve to be in the New South Wales Parliament? Uh, if it turns out that he has been working on behalf of the foreign government, then he absolutely should not be representing the people of New South Wales. What would be the point in recruiting or targeting somebody like him? There's a lot of value you can get from simply being inside uh, you know, a, a legislative body, knowing the people there. It gives intelligence agencies incredible opportunities for further targeting and recruitment and intelligence gathering. He may well say he was simply a true believer in the ideals promoted by the Chinese Communist Party. Is that fair enough? It'd be pretty unusual. I think it's rare for the Chinese Communist Party to genuinely win over people through their ideology. It often operates by coercion or inducement. So you can see there's a continuum of yes. uh, good labour policy uh, towards uh, mm. China uh, because it is in our interest uh, mm -hmm. in Australia-China. Uh, a Chinese interest uh, to have a, a, a good working mm -hmm. relationship, not mm -hmm. only economic, mm -hmm. uh, but political, uh, uh, diplomatic, mm -hmm. and for security as well. How would you explain to the punter in the street why they should care about what Mr. Mosselman goes around saying in respect of China? It undermines their power, uh, their rights as citizens in a democracy. It means that the people elected to represent you might actually be representing the views of a foreign government that doesn't align with your values, that, that, that doesn't align with your culture, that actually wants to suppress that and push its own objectives. Josky says Mosulmane's affinity with China has been helped along by this man, a Beijing patriot called John Jung. 18 months ago, he employed Jung as his part-time staffer and speechwriter, despite Mr Jung's deep and enduring links to the Chinese Communist Party's overseas influence agency, the United Front Work Department. John Jung has quite clear links to the United Front Work Department. He's a member of one of their front groups in Shanghai. And, and, and it's, it's always concerning to see someone with those kinds of links working in a politician's office. John Jung came to Australia in 1989. He's backed Beijing's tactics to influence politicians like Mosulman to help propel China's rise as a superpower. He's captured here, critiquing Australia's relationship with the US. We wish Australian government had a balanced foreign policy. Our international positions and our national interest are not exactly the same as our allies. Why would Mosulman have brought John Jung into his orbit as a staffer? John Jung might have claimed to have been able to mobilise Chinese community support. He might have claimed to have been able to facilitate uh, Mosulman's access in China and interaction with Chinese government officials. He's a member of a group in Shanghai, the Shanghai Overseas Friendship Association, that is clearly 100% black and white, run by the United Front Work Department. And its ultimate aims, therefore, being? To influence Australian politics. The ALP has an ugly track record of some in the party pushing the agenda of Beijing. Whose side is he on? In 2018, Federal Labor Senator Sam Dastyari was forced to stand down. 
after a scandal over his dealings with a Chinese political donor. Were you short of cash, though? No, look. Because, Sam, no, you haven't answered no, why no, you got this no, company no, to pay no, that no, bill. No, 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 no. Dastiari's downfall has clearly had little impact on Mr Mosselmane's cosy friendship with China. Can you just tell us, has your office been targeted by the Chinese government? Hours after the AFP came knocking on Friday... So you've been raided by the Federal Police today over allegations that Beijing has infiltrated your office. Is there any uh, truth to that yeah. allegation? Mr Mosselman and his lawyer left home while agents Thank continued you. searching his property. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, gents. We also tried to speak to Zhong Zhang. The person you are calling is not available. He could not be reached. Should ASIO not be expected to put some evidence into the public domain if it's taken this significant step of surveilling, tracking, watching a serving politician? It's absolutely incumbent upon uh, the federal government to do that, even if there are matters that are dealt with behind closed doors. We can't have somebody's name uh, traduced on the basis of an unproven allegation as, as, as serious as this. It's not acceptable in a democracy. Does he have a place in our parliaments? Well, there is no place for someone in our parliaments if they are taking instructions from a foreign power. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.